Kemper here with a quick video. I wanted to answer a viewer question about window panels and what I did for my privacy window panels in the camper. So this is going to be uh, very quick uh, and not fancy, but I want to show you what I originally did on my window panels for the Phase 1 Odyssey Camper Experiment, a 2004 Honda Odyssey, was to use this insulated board covered with pleather material, vinyl material, and backed with some Reflectix. And what I found is that these panels were really too much in the summertime. Uh, it's too much insulation, so they're also kind of bulky, and securing them to the window requires some type of an attachment. Um, I use suction cups and threaded rod, which worked, but I think it's just a little too much unless you're going to be out when it's colder than 20 degrees. So the second time around, for the Phase 2 Odyssey, which is uh, 2013, I just took uh, sheets of Reflectix and backed it with felt material. So I went down to Joanne's Fabrics, picked up some felt, and uh, connected it with this contact cement, this weld wood contact cement. You can paint this on with a paintbrush in a well-ventilated area and just stick the, stick the felt onto the Reflectix. One thing to watch when you do this, when you want unroll the Reflectix, you'll notice it rolls in one direction. You want to make that the vertical direction of your panel. If you do it the other way and you make the vertical, uh, you make the, I don't know, call it the bias, if we make the uh, creases run horizontally, it tends to fall out of the window. So I found doing it vertically, putting the ribs the vertical direction is the best way to go. Um, and that's all it is, it's very, very lightweight. So I cut the felt, after I cut the Reflectix, I cut the felt just slightly bigger so that I can tamp it into the window and they stay up, they stay up rather well. I'm gonna show you how I, can, how I set it up in the rear window. These panels are fully reversible and when I'm out in the sun, I put the Reflectix layer facing out. Uh, and that does a really good job of reflecting heat back. Now, people will tell you that this stuff does not make a very good insulator, and I'll say that's true. If I'm setting out to make an insulated panel, I would not use Reflectix. On the other hand, uh, it does have some insulating qualities. When I was out in the Oregon Mountains, I woke up in the morning and there was frost in the, on the glass side, and nothing on the other side um, so there's some insulating value there but really they're a radiant barrier so works good as a radiant barrier now if you put the felt panel out you get this effect you can see that's completely black and it's very hard to uh, you can also see me in the reflection it's very hard to see in there even with a flashlight when you shine a flashlight on it it just looks like it's dark in there uh, so depending on what effect you want you can put either side toward the outside Looking up at the rear hatch, you can see these small tack strips I put up. Uh, they're kind of clear, and they peel off. They're kind of gummy. They're used for hanging pictures. Hopefully that shows up in the video. I think it will. Um, and that material is made by 3M. So I bought these strips at uh, Lowe's, and unfortunately I didn't save the rest of the package, but they're in with the picture hangers, so I'm sure you can find it. And it's kind of a gel stuff, and that worked great for the Reflectix side of the panel. Uh, when I stuck up the Reflectix, it stayed there for the whole trip, no problem. However, they don't really stick that well for the felt. Now, the only panel I've really had problems with, looking inside, you can see the inside of these panels. Um, the only one I've really had trouble with is the rear panel because it's so big. Um, and you can see it kind of tends to bend a little bit. I'm gonna tamp it in place and show you what it looks like, but those, uh, Adhesive strips stuck up at the top and they did a pretty good job of holding everything together. Uh, when you stick the felt side in, I don't think the adhesive did much, but the edges of the felt kind of fold over as you push it into place. And so that tends to hold everything in place. So let me shoot a little uh, clip of it both ways. I'll try to hold the camera and show how the, the tension holds everything in place. I don't have it perfectly centered right now. If I were gonna leave it in there for a while, I'd wanna get it centered so there's no light coming in around the edge. And then tamp it in there. You can see how the felt kind of folds back and holds everything in place. So that's with the felt side out. Let's see what that looks like. Completely black. I'll pull that out and flip it around the other way. 
So now it's in place with the black felt side inward, which is the way I had it during RTR. And then on the outside, you get the reflective benefit when the sun's hitting the car, it doesn't get hot inside. Uh, and it stayed up there for the whole trip, no problem. Just with the adhesive at the top. I suppose if you're going to leave it permanently, you could put a little adhesive strip at the bottom too, and that would ensure it wouldn't go anywhere. The side panels, I haven't had to uh, put any adhesive on, but uh, you can see that this one actually fell down as I was driving home, so it wouldn't hurt to stick a, stick a strip up at the top. But that's how I did it. The net cost, um, I think the felt was eight bucks in the clearance rack at Joanne Fab Joanne's Fabrics. Michaels would have it too. Just buy some cheap, thick felt. And then the Reflectix was like 15 bucks or something at Lowe's. Just make sure the Reflectix comes in a couple of different sizes. So make sure that you get the one that's wide enough for your windows, tall enough for your windows. So measure your windows regardless of what kind of van you have and make sure that you pick the right size. Okay, quick video. Hopefully this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you.